Oh, hi there, Captain Goujon here, and welcome back to some Prison Architect. It's been a while since I've been back in the old cells, and I've missed it quite a lot. So we're going to just do a little bit more work on my prison. I'm a little bit short of cash right now. I'm actually in debt by $29, which is never ideal. And I have 27 prisoners coming in about seven hours. And I need money to buy cell doors. First world problems, right? First world problems. So yeah, last time someone died here, and that was... That was good. I enjoyed that. It was actually really fun. And they're dead. And they've been taken away by the by the Morg bus. Morg bus, that's what it's called, right? The hearse. The hearse, that's the one. And yeah, so we're just gonna I'm just gonna wait to get some money in really, because I've got fucking no cash whatsoever. Yay, the prisoners are here. Yay, prisoners. Who's gonna get who's gonna start crying first, do we think? That's the question. Who will shed the first tear? Where where are those guys going? Where are you guys go Inside. These guards are fucking awful. Literally just leave the prisoners outside, like we can trust you guys. We trust you that you're gonna stay outside and wait for us because, you know, your upstanding citizens is never the, you, the prisoners. For Christ's sake. How hard is your job? Interracial couple, another interracial couple, and another interracial couple. This is not a racist game. This is a very, very understanding level prison. I wonder what they talk, I wonder what they talk about when they come to visit people. How's your day been? Done anything new? Nope. Just the exact same routine every day. And then they got stabbed at lunchtime. No Dominguez, you're so crazy. So crazy. I've got all these workmen just standing around doing nothing. Can can you please move this? Can you please Are you not capable of doing anything but workman stuff? Like building a wall. We've got I've got two chefs that have to move the delivery inside. Jesus Christ. Lazy, lazy bastard. Yeah. Yeah, you. You with your stupid goatee. Prick. Honestly. Thirty more prisoners are turning up tomorrow. <laughs> oh fuck. <laughs> There is just no physical way I could build enough cells in that time with $79 in my pocket. Shit. I think while everyone's in a common room and having their food, we'll do a nice shakedown. Let's see what let's see what our, our prisoners are hiding. It's gonna make them a bit upset though. That's why I'm gonna put free fire on as well. So if I if I take all this stuff off them, can I can I sell it and make some money? That'd be useful. If I could do that. I'm not sure if it's kind of like might be racketeering slightly, but I really could do with the fucking money. So if that'd be okay, that'd be great. Thanks. Oh shit! I shouldn't have sacked all those workers. Because now when I buy anything, I'm gonna have to pay another five hundred dollars for another fucking workman. God damn it! I would be a terrible, terrible architect, but a very hard ruler if I was going to be in charge of a prison. I would make sure that they were all going to get executed at the end of the day. Planting drugs in rooms, shanking them in the canteen, just, you know, real prison warden stuff. No oh god, the prisoners are here. Somewhere. Oh, there they are. And all the families are here as well, just to wave them goodbye, because they'll never ever see them again. Yes. Oh my god, I'm nearly there. I can nearly taste the 20 grand. Oh yes. Yes, I'm a rich man again. <laughs> Let's get cracking with the building. Saying that though, there's now 30 prisoners that I haven't got rooms for. So we're going to have to make this quick. Fortunately, I planned on my blueprints out already, so I'm doing okay. I wonder if they're the same guys that I sacked already and they're working really bitterly like, Motherfucker. If I didn't need the money, I wouldn't come back to you, you son of a bitch. But I need the money, and I don't want to turn to selling drugs again. Last time, mewling. Got a bit out of hand. Well, out of hand. In erectum. One of the two. I don't know where I'm going to store all these prisoners. Look at that. <laughs> Look at how full the shower is. It's so full. <laughs> All fully clothed as well. In fact, I can now hire some janitors and a gardener. Two really important things that prisons definitely need. 
Ah, uh, it looks like it's all gonna end up okay. And only a few inmates may die. But... It's a small price to pay. In exchange for a super sweet mega prison. With a very high death rate. Very small price. If we finish one job at a time, I have a tendency to start lots of things, forget to do a really key part of another job, and then end up fucking everything up. So... Let's just try and focus and multitask at the same time. But we all know what, being a man, multitasking is not the easiest of things. That's what women are for. Gamergate hashtags. I'm only joking. Women are great. Sexy as well. And that's a compliment, not a stereotypical viewpoint, by the way. Oh, God's sake, something kicking off again. Kill him. Finish him off. Oh my god, he's getting double teamed. Oh, fucking shit. It's a riot. Free fire. Guards, feel free to bear arms and shoot them in the goddamn face for being idiots. Oh my god, there's a right kicking off. <laughs> the death toll is going through the roof. Jesus, five dead. It's okay, guys. Just open fire. Open fire on the angry mob. It's fine. Oh my god, someone's even stabbed one of the fucking doctors. Oh my god, the psychologist is dead. How could they? <laughs> Holy fucking shit. Ten deaths today. It's okay, that's kind of thinning out the population, so I might have enough cells for them. Eleven dead. Guys, come on. Oh my god. <laughs> oh shit me. Let's just let's just let's just let him fight it out. It'll be fine. This is what happens when you don't have enough cells for prisoners. How many dead guards? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven dead guards. That's okay though, because that's equal amounts of guards to prisoners were killed. But they have got keys. Let's just lock it down. You know what? Sometimes just locking your problems away and forgetting about them is sometimes the easiest solution. Maybe. It's been another exciting episode at Luby's Prison. And I think I'm going to end it here, since I'm going to leave my uh, workmen to crack on and get this cell block built. And hopefully next time you join me, I won't be in such a fucking shithole. Anyway, if you've liked this shit, like this shit. Share, subscribe. Do what you got to do. But until next time, Captain Goujon, out.